Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right. Hey, my name is Quadria, but I go by Quay. And I woke up this morning seeing my name in the blogs regarding a shooting that happened June 25th, 2017. Yes, I was shot at by Finesse. And shout out to 1090 Jake for, you know, exposing the real, you know what I'm saying? The one y'all look up to claim to be so real, Finesse, he not, you know what I'm saying? Um, At the time I got shot at, he offered me a thousand dollars. Mind you, I wrecked my car. Um, my back window was shattered with a bullet hole. I was grazed in the neck. You know what I'm saying? A thousand dollars wouldn't even cover a funeral for me. You know what I'm saying? So, you say you so real. Real niggas do real shit. You got it now. You know, you never tried to write your wrongs with me. And to this day, I still see you as wrong. Nothing could change that. Oh, wow. Damn. Look at this face right here. This is a girl. She just told y'all. Been shot at by a finesse. We thought he was this gangster. Went to the feds for uh, doing some real dirt. Yeah. What's real dirt? It's shooting at a female with a chopper. Real dirt. Come on now. She's expressing herself. The man tried to downgrade her and give her $1,000. But he got all his money, though. You know, I don't know if he was up up at that time, but I know he could have paid him more than a thousand dollars, and we wouldn't be hearing about this. Sort of like when Diddy let Cassie take it to the courts, and now all this extra stuff in the paperwork. Now we, yeah, did he do it? Did he did it? <laughs> yeah, that way I don't know. But what I'm saying is, like, come on, like I was under the impression that Finesse two times went to the feds for doing some real gangster ish. Now look at her. Is that gangster ish? And I got the whack 100 stuff that I told y'all in the title coming up too. I'm just building up the momentum of it. But uh, what I have next, uh, let me see who's where I want to go with it. Let's just go here. Who up? Uh... Hey, whack 100, bro. I done been to Cali two, three times, bro. Outside, bro. You hear me? Bro, you can't even go to your own hood, bro. None of the rap... None of the screw. I done been to your hood, bro. You can't even go to your own hood, don't none of your homies even respect you, bro. You hear me? It's known that you move with the feds, bro. It's known that you got the feds securing no jumper when you there. It's known that you got the feds securing every spot that you there, bro. You win on the internet. But every time I'm in Cali, where you popping out at? Why you ain't at no Rolling Loud? Why you ain't at no functions? Why you ain't nowhere but behind a microphone? Because you a b And it's just dead on it. <laughs> and you can talk all this shit you want. You can go on there and pop. Do whatever you want to do for your views. But guess what? I can go to Chicago. I can go to the land. And go get real love from the ministers. You can't do that, homie. Your own hood don't respect you, homie. So you can say whatever you want to say, but we two different. Man. You an old hoe. That's all you is. And you done learn how to play the blogs and, and reel people in and, and say shit about certain people and gangsters. And don't even be outside. This what you wanted out of me. This what you want from me. And I, I, I made a commitment a week ago that I was through spurring anybody who spoke on my name. You speak on my name, there it is. And we ain't got to say nothing else. But you can't go to your hood. I can go to my land, though. Know what it is with me. Wow. So what you just heard now seems like a pimp in distress. Yeah. He done lost all his hoes out of stable. And it's just my opinion, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? He from Memphis, you know. It's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah, that way. That way. And now he got paperwork dropped on him. And whack is on his ass due to his boss man saying, oh, you doing business with a snitch. Like, come on, listen. Listen, I'm not agreeing with whack fully of all his tactics, but I'm just telling y'all. In business, you don't know if this man a snitch, this man uh manipulate woman. Matter of fact, for next two times, yeah, you was manipulate woman. You had your whole stable. That's my opinion. 
You know, or just like Diddy. Like, at first, I just jumped out there like, hey, man, did it, did it, did it, did it, because there were so many rumors out, and plus Tupac, my favorite rapper, and things like that, so I had to start just mellowing down like, cool. Like, wouldn't you want a fair shot if these folks saying, oh, you black, you sell crack, right? Put it like that. And uh, people start putting out rumors, you know, around that situation, and now everybody looking at me like, oh, he's a crack seller, he's this and that, he's that, because... The stigma already to it, you know? So it's easy to attach your, like, you know, your enemies to attach to that. Or if you want some money, I'm going to tell them this. I'm going to tell them that. So I had to kind of regroup. Not saying did he right or wrong. I'm just saying, y'all got to prove that he right or wrong for I just go out this man's throat. And that's just where I'm at with it, too. And um, I believe, uh, yeah. Uh, Jay Prince going at WAC 100 about the 6 9 situation. You ain't no gangster. You don't, like, bro, you don't know if you're Uber driver. Yeah, <laughs> is is something, yeah, in the dark that he, yeah, just driving you around all day. So I can't say whack wrong for dealing with what? Business. Not saying he bringing 6 9 to the hood and, hey, 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 I'm a real one of stamping him. I'm saying if I can make a move and he got a Spanish crowd, you know what I'm saying, that still love him. Because if y'all don't know, like in the federal system, like Mexicans and other races, yeah, they got green lights to tell them the blacks on other races, as long as you ain't tell on them. Black folks take this nigga stuff way serious and be the main ones doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like everybody got stipulations on things, and I don't think it never took me away from whack. You know, um, the fact that he does business with whoever. You know, you know, Boosie don't, yeah, y'all go on him saying, what, he's all on the LBG, whatever, but he let you know. Look, my stylist is that way, a rainbow, or his manager, or whoever. So he don't hate them. He just don't like what they do. You know, certain stuff you got to stand for. So um, I believe, like, at first I was on that too because me, myself, I done been, you know, do my share of troubles, and I didn't understand it. But when I thought about Wack being a manager, Wack setting up a play, Okay, what is it for him to sit down with a dude who snitch? And it comes back to the point, he ain't snitch on me. And I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, but it ain't really crazy because like I told you in the federal system, these folk could walk around there with their paperwork dirty from other races as long as they told them the black man, it's cool, you know? And I don't condone that, you know, before a man to like reach his wings out and hey, you know what? We know what he did. He know, I made him say he ain't no gangster. You know, he was just a kid who got misused, and I'm going to do bending with him and make a few shekels. I mean, I can't knock that. But for the next two times, like, come on. You had us believing, I just showed y'all the girl before I showed him talk, you know, that, you know, you did some real gangster-ish. Like, did you free pick? If you free pick anybody, pick the weakest link of a man. Don't shoot at a girl car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm not condoning that neither. But all I'm saying is, for the next two times, what you just said was a bunch of air pack. If y'all know what air pack is, it's the weed you smoke that look good, and it ain't blown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? And at the end of the day, at the end of the day like I tell y'all, always follow y'all dreams. Always get up, get out, and get something. And let this just be entertainment. Like, YouTube the new TV. You know? I'm just doing my part. And, yeah, in the show. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't got to agree with me. You could disagree. But, you know, let me know in the comments how y'all feel. You know, I'm not going to downgrade what y'all feel or whatever because I feel a certain way we can debate. But I ain't going to call you names like Goofy. Oh, fuck you. This ain't your business lesson. It's on the internet. It's everybody business. We can, we, we can elaborate off it. You know what I'm saying? I come with y'all with respect. Y'all come with me with respect too because I curse a bitch out. Yeah. But as you just saw, um, yeah. For the next two times, talking about he been to the hood and Wack is definitely going to address all this after I finish running my jibs. In clubhouses, I got two back to back, you know. But he's gonna dress, address, you know, him being in L.A. Like, bro, you in Long Beach? That's a crip hood. Of course, they're gonna diss whack. I never seen nobody really from Pacoma. Well, we all got problems. You, I might go to your hood, and somebody, I think you a solid one. Somebody gonna say, "Man, that man flow. He ain't pay me this last week, or he ain't do this last month." You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like that. But the overall picture is. I know what he has, yeah, what he's saying he done, he definitely did, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, all that extra, you know, sauce that's on it, 
Everybody ain't going to like you. You go to Finesse Two Time Hood, they ain't going to like him unless he paying. Yes, you can go to your hood if you paying. Yeah. And when them snitch allegations uh, came out, I'm quite sure you had to pay, yeah, a pretty penny. Yeah, to stay, uh, you know, stable. But uh, for you to go to Long Beach and talking about, you can't go to your hood, whack. Listen, first of all, y'all grown ass men. Who want to keep going to a hood? Like, bro, you've been in the dope game, you know. I, like, you can't be in your hood like that. You don't know who plotting on you if you up in the dope game. If you got bricks and all this, and this man sitting here with a 50-pack, you done blessed him three times, but he looking at your pockets like, hey, he should have gave me an ounce. You give him got dough on something to make three, 400 off of, fed his family off that, but he feel like you should do more. I mean, yeah, I mean, y'all grown. Y'all grown. So you can't be somebody old where somebody can't go or claiming where you went where that is a crip hood and whack is clearly a pyro. Did you go to Pacoma, nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But... On to the next subject. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about this, too. I'm building it up, y'all. I'm building it up. I got Finesse Two Times Brother coming up right here, right now. Oh, oh, uh. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also, hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this hot-ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh, uh. This motherfucking internet playing like you gangster. You ain't put in no work. Nigga snatch your chain, fool. You didn't do nothing, fool. You went jumped in the car with me, fool. We pulled off. Come on, fool. We know what happened that night, fool. Quit lying to these folk. Tell me how to chain. Nigga, fuck your chain. Nigga, you think I want to wear a rat chain around my neck, nigga? I ain't never spoke on you snitching, fool. Because at the end of the day, you my brother, fool. These niggas making real visual videos talking about you telling. But you talking about you finna go make a hundred million. Word. Then I just found out, nigga, the only reason they came back and picked dirt up is because you told them that y'all bought such and such and such and he had the XD. That man been gone home. Once you said that he had the XD and he bought this, this, that, and other, that's what got him indicted. They ain't even talking about that. He tried to snitch on me. He tried to tell him. You still said what you said. They got him indicted, fool. This motherfucking internet playing like you gangster. You ain't put in no work. Well, I guess, um, yeah, for this two-time brother, uh, no love, is living up to his name. <laughs> yeah, that way. Ain't no love. Yeah, even for his brother. Even for his brother. I think the last draw was when he let them dudes jump him. Yeah. And then he took his chain back. Yeah, that way, after he flexed on Honeycomb Brazy in his favor. Talking about he got the chain and Honeycomb had the little one. And bam, two weeks later, yeah, give me that chain back. Yeah. And probably give it to somebody else. So, uh, No Love is like, look, I don't want to wear a rat chain. Even though he wore it already now. Even though he knew Finesse Two Times was a rat. He seen the videos just like everybody else. But, of course, he got the ride with bro. Yeah, that way. You know? And that's how it should still be. <laughs> yeah, in some shape, form, or fashion. But, of course, Wack, as you can see, his, uh, yeah, I got this off his page. Wack 100 is using this against Finesse two times. Boy, listen, Kane Able syndrome is real. <laughs> yeah, that way. But, you know, I don't know the whole ins and outs about it, but I do know that part. Like, he actually let his homeboys jump him. Put a big knot on his head. And yeah, it been down for um, him ever since. But it's definitely going down for Finesse two times, too. You know, I'm not sure if J Prince going to drop him. Because that would whack one. Y'all said I messed with 6 9 But now the paperwork come out that your artist a rat. What you going to do? And I think this uh, kind of affecting um, Finesse two times, you know, brand. Like, I don't know what his number's doing. But it ain't doing when he first came out with that song we like. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. F them. Yeah, that way. So uh, I don't think he had a hit like that yet uh, since. And uh, I think with bloggers and um, media outlets starting to realize they got the power. Because I blatantly seen uh, academics say things um, about Lil Baby and everybody going with the concept. Like, I didn't know Lil Baby. Listen, he put it in my head. He put it in my head. Now, I hope Lil Baby come with a stronger album this time, but a blogger kind of pushing every day 
you know, and got a media outlet with people watching them, millions of folks, and you keep talking about this man rapping elementary, uh, he's not the same, uh, Gunner must be writing his lyrics, and things of that nature, you keep beating it into your audience's head, you know, after a while, you start seeing the comments, yeah, like, academics you hating to academics you was right, you know, so y'all be careful, this is how they programmed us to kill everybody in the hood, and academics were behind that too now, Farge and the war of Chirac. He giving people names, Lil Reese, what? The uh, the Undertaker, or something like that. I forgot what he actually called him. Called uh, Santana, may he rest in peace, a certain name. And, you know, the other side don't like that. So now they want them a name. And get what they going to do? Knock a nigga head off to get it. So the media, uh, the media is full of dirty tricks. And YouTube definitely is up. Twitch is up. You know, probably more than YouTube right now. But YouTube, I love you. I'm trying to stick with you now. Don't make me make a Twitch page. You got to pay a little more. You got to pay a little more. <laughs> yeah, but I can just blend them all in. But at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, people painting the narrative now, you know. And then, um, you know, not to stay on little Baby, but them pictures with Mike Rubin and somebody behind him didn't help either, you know. And that was my favorite artist. I ain't going to care. And he still is. He still is. I keep my Spotify on. Lil Baby, that's the only thing you hear when you jump in my car. Cause I kind of backed away from listening to music anyway. You know, Lil Baby more on Jeezy time, like get money. So I rock with him. But we got a new dude up, and y'all, shouts out to him. Hopefully he keep his thing together, even though he came in, yeah, the game backwards. And that's D-Lo, uh, Bossman D-Lo. Yeah, Rick Ralston, yeah, Baby Mama to expose him. Getting his, t- yeah, I guess they call it a tall salad. <laughs> yeah, and shrimping. <laughs> yeah, that way. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of ugly, you know. Like, y'all got to realize, y'all got to stay, keep it cool with the bloggers. And one thing from this time did, um, he basically said they stopped killing the rappers, killing the bloggers. So who going to pick him up on a, on a positive light? Hell, I'm blogging. Hell, I'm from the streets. And hell, I ain't shoot at no lady with no damn AK. So at the end of the day, it's certain types of street. And if I did hit anybody, I'm not going to go up there and be like, hey, I did this. Hey, come get me police. No, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. I ain't using it for no leverage. But on another note, of course, WAC 100 figured out um, finesse two times and no love mama got locked up. And uh, that's coming up right here, right now. Oh, oh, uh, well, here you have it. Uh, finesse two time mother is in the middle. Come on. Y'all know that's his, his mama. <laughs> yeah. And no love mama. They like twins, y'all. But WAC 100 going to drop the paperwork, exposing finesse two times mama for what? Allegedly. Uh, money laundering. Wack talking real big on that. Basically saying, look, we know your mama had that type of check. Why you ain't took that charge? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why you ain't took that charge for your mama? Why is she locked up? Which I feel like, you know, he trolling. Wack is trolling. But when you say something bad to somebody else, you can't expect them to take it where you took it at. I just said this. He ain't going to be my mama. And, then, and bam, did your mama go. So he's using all his avenues. If Jay Prince and I'm don't hear him, he's bringing your mom in, and this is her right here. Yeah. So zoom in and see her charge. Well, matter of fact, I don't know if this one said charges. It says her name. She's 47. Damn. She kind of still young. So that's two times. Well, how old that's two times is? Well, she might be one of the ones who had to carry that's two times while she was in the, yeah, high school and had to keep her head up high being pregnant first. Uh, no disrespect to you, mama, but it's a lot of people like that. I think Mickey the Truth just told her story. She was 14 when she got pregnant. You know them country towns, man. They work fast. They work fast. But, uh, you know, Wack 100 posted this to her mugshot. And um, it's a money laundering charge. And, um, yeah, so it's not looking too good. You know, all this adding up. See, what people do, just like the feds, like people saying FB, uh, FBG Butter didn't tell, no, he didn't, but he kept asking him questions like, what's Lamron? Is Dirk the head of that? And stuff, they piece stuff together. You know, even though he told him the dead, I'm just bringing this in. Yeah, he did, but at the end of the day, they be trying to still reach over that. You told him, like, he told him, he was just telling him the dead, but they'll try to just piece this together. So Dirk is over here, and the OTF is what? If you're saying it's the same thing as the, yeah, they piece stuff together. And I think that's what Wack do. He take a piece of Finesse Two Times Life, take a piece out of his brother, take a piece out of his mama now, and uh, build up his whole, you know, agenda to what? Knock his ass down because you tried me. You know? I think he's going to put a hundred on whack head. Now, if this ain't enough to put a hundred on somebody's head, if you got that type of power, I don't know what it is. Because you posting this man mugshot, did where I got it from. 
<laughs> from WAC 100, you know? You know, but ain't no goddamn, yeah, ain't no stipulations on wall, you know? You know, even they tell a, even if, even they tell you don't shoot nobody in the back. But a lot of people die getting shot in the back now. <laughs> like, there ain't no real body. Yes, it is. His ass is not here no more. So that's just how it go, y'all. There ain't no really, you know, ain't no boundaries when it's war. And here's some uh, more of a paperwork uh, Whack 100 posted. Y'all can peek at that, you know. Uh, take a picture of it. Read it, whatever. You know, but it's basically about money laundering. She has a bond. I'm quite sure she's out by now. Because if she wasn't, Whack going like, go get your mama. You got all that money. He ain't say all that. He ain't say all that. But uh, that's it for me, you guys. I got more coming up. And that's Whack on Clubhouse. You know, filling y'all in on the conversation. Yeah, with his own words and got a, of course, his clubhouse. Yeah, click. Yeah, that way. And the funny thing was, through this clubhouse, you know, he got the girl R&B. And, I, uh, you know, they got the relationship going on. So I guess R&B was trying to go get some food. Like, it's all, you know, he's still on the phone. So <laughs> it's just funny to me. She was trying to get some food. So don't think y'all insecure because Wack is too. <laughs> yeah. She tried to go get some food. I said, I already ordered some. You ain't going nowhere. And I put the tracker device in the car. Yeah. I put the tracking device in the car, and it said you went the wrong way last time. You are not going to see a ninja. That spot you want to go to, we going tonight. <laughs> it is funny. It is funny. No matter how much you got, boy, if you love somebody, you're going to keep them tabs on them, y'all. That's all I'm saying about this. Nothing to do with finesse two times. But, yeah, I know he loves his mama. Yeah, I know his brother. Yeah, probably hurt or whatever, but I don't think he should be out there just speaking out on that. Let time heal situations. But I don't know how finesse two times acting with the check. You know, and I can say, oh, if I get this big bag, I ain't acting like that. Maybe I am in certain ways. Maybe certain things I do now might make somebody pissed off or whatever, keeping it too real. But it's really me, but it's fake to them. Yeah, that way. But, you know, love is love, y'all. But I'm going to let y'all know, use that thing in the middle of your eyebrows, though. It's called the mind, and the mind is a terrible thing to waste. And as you use that mind to think, yeah. Also, remind yourself every day that you are somebody. And now I'm going out hard the same way. And don't leave y'all. I told you more content coming. I came in. Oh, uh, enjoy the content. Wack was the only one standing <laughs> you on You damn nah. No, he what? was. What? I, no, I did not man. believe him. I, I'm going to keep it real. Yeah, I, right. First of all, y'all didn't believe he was going to tell. I said, gonna go tell. I believe you. <laughs> you, you I said, I, yeah, I, I, uh, I call heat, right? And I said, when it get out, it ain't gonna even affect you. We gonna be just like six nine. I didn't believe that. Nah, I, I didn't, didn't believe, believe that. Six nine was gonna Hell give nah, you for sure that. called out. Yeah, yeah six nine, nine was the one. Six yeah, because you niggas is caught up in your personal instead of how the world is moving. Mm-hmm. The nah, list that is street nigga. Hey yo, yo, listen to me. I'm a street nigga. Oh, shit. Okay, girl, that nigga's a street nigga. Yo, them niggas are street niggas. That's what it used to be. I'm a street nigga. Ugh, that nigga's a street nigga. That nigga probably broke bad credit. I'm a street nigga. Oh, you're a dummy. I don't care. I'll call the cops on you. Fuck you. Nobody's scared of you no more. It's real shit. Mm-hmm. Why you think I've been transitioning over there with the people? Killing me, bitch. The but if that's what you've been I rapping about, I want to stand with the street niggas. Fuck you, dumb, stupid ass. I've been denouncing them niggas. And you know what people say? Whack, we're comfortable dealing with you. We know you come from over there. But you know, you know what? You know, you're cool with us. You're not trying to. I, I'm watching how the world is moving. That's over with. All movements come to an end. It's over with. You dumb niggas don't even see the last phase of it. The last phase of it happening right in front of your face. So you think he going to be bigger, Wack? You think Finesse Two Times is going to be bigger after this? First of all, you sound like a dummy because I'm he was act- never big. I'm actually, no. He I'm was actually. never big. Yeah. Dummy. I-, I knew that. I knew that. He was never big. We talking about niggas, right, who had a butt. That nigga ain't hat, bro. Did you hear how His many people talk- just say they don't even know? Yeah, like, like, bro, stop putting this nigga somewhere he ain't never been. Yeah. He wasn't never there. He wasn't never there. Now, let Lil Wayne go tell right now. Nobody's yeah. gonna give a fuck. <laughs> that's true. Let's, let's catch an up and coming nigga right now that's buzzing. Who one of these little up and coming niggas is buzzing? Um wait, let's sexy red. She says she a blood. Let's-
Better let the paperwork come out on Sexy Red right now. No, I got a good one. Look, Didi Osama. You know who that is? I don't know who that nigga is. Yeah, me. Little nigga that's fucking with French Montana. <laughs> right, who's but let... There's nobody can do let, let, let Sexy Red, the paperwork come out on Sexy Red right now. And watch something nothing happen. Hmm. <laughs> Not, nobody's gonna give a fuck. Low range, and him, low he low. fucked up because we about to finish him off. Me and 1090 10, coming, joining the exposures on the collab. You see me working on him. I've been working on him today. I put the work up. You said you went to the feds for stepping on a nigga. Lies. Here we go. You shot at a 23-year-old girl over a parking space. Bitch, you's a bitch. There you go right there. Oh, that's what he Straight ho. Oh, that's some whack shit. Whack I ain't gonna lie. ho. Go look on the WAC 100 IG. I'm just getting. I got all this shit, all this medical. Nigga, I got this nigga hearing voices. He's talking to the fans, telling them what your gang association is, and you got guns. I got every motherfucking thing. <laughs> your ass is cooked. That's the fact. You over with. I'm running. I'm running the social media platform. Ten ninety running the, the the visual. As always, Don Donna. Yeah, that's that's a finito. <laughs> Shit. Over with. Over with. Playing with that nigga boy. That nigga's not playing, playing with that nigga boy. God. Oh, no, nigga, Man. you a guy. You ain't got no win, boy. Hey, this your mama, right? You know that ain't her three hundred. Got your mama going to jail. What kind of nigga is you? Yo, yeah, okay, this is what I got. Win, this is what man. I got. All right, I got the victim statement why he really went to the feds. 23-year-old girl, he drew down on over parking lot. Where you going? Um, For what? I already ordered food. Um, We can do that later, though. We can do that one later. What? Roberto's. Right? Victim statement. Next thing I got, ATF. He told the ATF he moves around with illegal guns, told him he's vice lord, and he did another interview with Little Rock, Arkansas police. We got that. Um, he says, I'm bipolar, and I hear voices telling me to kill people. We got that. Told the doctor in the mental facility when he was 15, he shot 10 people. Shot his mom's boyfriend. No evidence of any of this ever happened. We got all them statements. Uh, there's more statements in the interview with the ATF talking about the guns. From the shooting, his security would be indicted for providing him with the same gun. Yeah, we got all that. We got the black and white to all that. I'm going to hold your mama's statements, though. I ain't going to do that yet. I'm going to hold them. Damn, not the mama. What? What the gonna fuck going on? She's going to hold them with her keep away. She got a keep away by a dude named Isaac Petway. Isaac Petway is her keep away, and that's the keep away for a motherfucking reason. The suspect shall have no contact or attempt to contact whether in person to coach suspects. Isaac Petway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In a year, it's crazy. I'm done. <laughs> I, was, I, I was about to say, look how that nigga said that. Yeah, he ready to drop that shit. I might, <laughs> go, I might go take some pictures in old uh, Brock. How you could? How you say it? Uh, for sheer, right oh, off. Oh, for sure, for Yeah, yeah, I might go on over there. Might on, on Maple Glen, boy. You better stop playing with me, boy. Right, pull up. <laughs> we need to get nah, some pictures. Wow, that nigga finesse is Can fighting the air. Stop playing with me, boy. Nah, not yet. We're going to go outside. Oh, 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 oh. And BPO Kenny just hit me. They're coming to no jumper next week. Yeah. Yo, I just said that, yo. Yeah, yeah. He just did a diss song on Finesse. I guess Finesse didn't diss they click. They said he can't come back. They from the mob, so they didn't diss mob ties they didn't diss him they said hey i met these little niggas these were some of the niggas i told y'all was with me watching the super bowl remember i told you there was a bunch of memphis niggas there you definitely they said signed that. they signed the qc hold on let me see y'all seen, seen the sister coming out saying shit what's this i'll send it to tell you. that nigga you can't get out the house you ordered food 
<laughs> Text the nigga and tell him you can't get out. You thought you were slick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, last time you was going somewhere, the tracking device said you went the opposite direction. Huh? Hold on. Somebody need to play this, uh, play this song. It's in the chat. I ain't even listen to it. I'm finna book him to come see him. Be- Beast in here? Yo, what up, Wack? I'm gonna see this shit for the watcher, huh? You already know. Yeah, this this this, this the launch attack. You can check this shit out. This nigga right here is a real weirdo. I don't know why that nigga, man. What's wrong with that nigga? That, you should have known you wasn't gonna drop my name in the song, and I wasn't gonna respond. Nigga, what? So I'm just trying to figure out. How I'll become the one. I'm the messy one. I'm the messy one. Just like you got Memphis mind going crazy right now. You got Finesse Mama going crazy. Finesse coming <laughs> off, going hard. Driving, going listen, hard on you. only 24 hours and all oh. of me here. She'll tell you, she didn't sit here and watch me say, all right, what I got? How many pieces I got? This, this. I can drag this for six days. This, I'm going to fuck with him here. By this time, he gonna say something to me. He DM me, so I DM before half a day. Boom, put the one thing up. Boom, put that up. No jumper, grab that, spread that, sit back. Yeah, yeah that nigga blocked my head though. When I, bro, was I got on. a rollout plan for even when I troll. I work a troll situation like I work a single, bro. Yeah, yeah, I don't I go. See. I'm telling Nisha. I'm even telling you too. You should know better. You from the West Coast. You know what you looking at. Like, okay, I'm, I know what I'm dealing with. This nigga is a motherfucking drug kingpin type of nigga on Clubhouse. Just ain't something dope. This nigga is not set up to lose. He going to win even if he lose. I'm the type of nigga that even if you bum rush the house, we got you. No, you don't, bitch. Detonate. We all going. For real. I'm not going to lose. <laughs> because I'm not going to stop. For real. Because you got motherfuckers talking. Really, you in a position right now in the city that niggas really buying. Niggas trying to get in touch with you right now. Yo, oh, listen. Oh, Memphis. Listen. Like that. You know why this is the pr- prime time to attack Finesse? Cause the because mob they don't... know he told. Yeah, they know he told. He had to go tell the truth about and this. Listen, shit. they can't. Even if they want to go to war for him, they got to tread lightly. Because they know he told. Oh, and this the whole thing. See, if I'd have did this a year ago, it'd be a battle. Cause Memphis was gonna ride with him. They can't. Yeah. Yeah, they and then he got into it with the, the he niggas who, who he he got into it with the niggas who into it with God and man. So if them niggas on his ass. He can't now, come back this. to the city. When I put up the shit by his mama, did nobody know that stand? Well, everybody knew. I ain't gonna lie. I knew about three weeks ago. I ain't yeah, but, but ain't no, ain't nobody put it out. Yeah, nobody didn't put it out though. You know what I'm saying? Nobody had the paperwork. Shout the young mob out though. Nobody had that. the paperwork, Stan. Yo. Did you hear? I did got you hear all, the uh, this on Thank you, young mob, vice lord, Stan G. I got all the work, Mimi. Even the work with the mama address, everything. See, when you bond out, you got to give up all that. We got all that. I went in there with him when he threatened me. He said, I'm going to kill you. I gave the nigga his mom address. I said, calm down, little nigga. Mm. He was on live earlier, and um, they was in the comments or whatever, telling him to get on Clubhouse. And he was like, anybody who tell him to get on Clubhouse, he blocking them. He was like, I ain't, he said that we the police on, on this app. He ain't coming on there. And I was like, <laughs> how you call up. nigga the police to use a rack? Mine what? Because he know a nigga over here flying. Let me tell you where he you know. fucked up at. He says, Everybody know you got the feds outside of no jumper. So now everybody at no jumper like, nigga, ain't no feds up here, nigga. Yeah. Right? That triggered no jumper. I said no jumper, get him. They start putting up all my shit. I got a question, right. though, real quick. Okay, so when the... Okay, so... Because this is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, when a person make allegations like a person is the feds and shit like that, which... Everybody know, like, if you're in the industry, that could be... It's not really damaging, but, like, it can be. 
So, like, what's considered defamation of character when it comes to shit like that? That's like, defamation of character. So, if a person say allegedly he's working with the feds, can you still get sued by saying allegedly? Definitely, that can hit you. Oh, okay. But at the end can. Of the day, you don't trip that because, see, this is what you got to understand. Finesse going to say, why you ain't that rolling loud? Hey, listen, little dude. This is your first time doing shit we've been doing for years. You know what that nigga sent me in my back channel? A picture Ooh. of a Rolls Royce and a watch. I said, little nigga, you know how long I've been driving Rolls Royces? What the oh, fuck? Man. I said, listen, can you show me a deed to a house? Can you show me an investment portfolio? Mm. I said, because nigga, you ain't even going to be hot this summer. You ain't even hot now. For real, they brave. They about shit. cutting you right now. My work. They think about getting home. off the label, old dude? Yeah, bro. because, bro, they didn't gave him the bag, but ain't nothing came back from it. Mm. And now the snitch shit then came out. He had a decline. So see Jay Prince and them doing nothing. They already preparing oh. themselves. Bro, this nigga, listen to me, bro. He got top song. He got 25 million, right? Called Back In, right? Yeah. Now, I know a motherfucker think that sound like a lot. That ain't nothing but $112,000, bro. That's all that is. Yeah. You said twenty five million is only. Oh, that is. You, got, you got to have them busy repeatedly, back to back. Yeah, to back you to can't. Back. He ain't got none of that shit. That shit is over with. Over Free with. Brazen, and Free we brazen. when we dropped that snitch paperwork, it killed him. And the worst thing the dummy could do. This how you know. This how you know Jay Prince Jr. And them ain't fucking with him. And the daddy, they would have never let him respond to me. Yeah, yeah, real shit. I'm yep. telling you. Junior know me and the daddy know me. The daddy stand. The daddy watch me pick him apart. Exactly. I don't the know that. Listen, shit. bro. They know, nigga. The nigga got the snitch paperwork on you. He the first one was came with it. Nigga, you can't say nothing back to this nigga. Soon as you say something back to him, he gonna he put the mic for it. This hard, no. They not even tripping him no more, bro. Oh my. There's no way Jay Prince them would have let that nigga respond back to me, bro. They know. Lose him but battle. he's a stupid Lose motherfucker, battle. though. He's just a stupid motherfucker. He That's stupid how he fucking still... He, he done fucked himself up, like, through the whole city. Everybody who was fucking with him was pushing on the bloggers. He done fucked himself up with all the bloggers. The nigga's just a stupid motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He think his talent gonna make the really, business, um, but he wasn't strategic. He should. He, he I don't should really post with nothing with them no more because they be like, bro, them, them, his, him and his brother, like they, he already, his brother already said he was gonna flag me for stealing content. But how's it stealing content, nigga? Nobody knows you. I'm posting you. I got, bro, I made your video go viral. Then you gonna tell me you gonna flag me? I'm like, nigga, nobody even know who you was. Everybody know you about to get your ass beat. So how the fuck you trying to flag motherfuckers for putting your and name? Man, he called my name. I talked to him know. about that the other day. I told you, you let that shit flow, nigga. That's what that's where you Bro, gonna T get money, your motion. This, T money, this man, listen, he was on live the other day, right? So I, I said, um, I said, can I screen record your live? Um, he was like, no, nah, because uh, he said you gonna pay me twenty five hundred, bitch ass nigga. I'm not paying you, Nathan. Yeah, that nigga don't know. Nathan, that's why. I was yeah, talking yeah. About he, he think he know. think he gonna get. He think he gonna come off this shit. He hustling this shit on the Yo, yo, Stan, listen to me, bro. And he don't even know. See, this is what niggas don't know. I do shit, bro, to see what's going on. I said, all right, let me see if I can get this nigga to respond. If he respond to me, to the world, Jay Prince and them ain't giving a fuck about him. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. When so long as you, so long you put that video out, my my phone lit up. The whole mob started calling me, though. Like, man, what's up, man? Whack on that boy head. Because he had just got into it with the mob. Now, now that I know that they ain't fucking with him, I'm finna wear his ass out. Mm -hmm. He ain't got no direction right now. The video now. on YouTube, boy, uh, like the niggas. And then he just jumped one of the barbers, like who be chopping out, like all oh, the Oh, yeah. All the, um, he got into it with the barber. The, he into it with his yeah, brother. I put, I, I did he into it with CEO uh, Jizzle. He into it with, like the nigga CEO Jizzle. He wasn't a myth. Like, he definitely got like a little stain in Memphis. So it's like when they got into it and he said, because I feel like. I ain't, this ain't me dissing. Nobody don't try to come for me when I say this. I feel like this is me. This is my personal opinion. 
a lot of niggas like that mob tie shit only probably mean like it means something to niggas that's in their area. That shit don't yeah, mean shit Texas anywhere shit, else. Like it don't went mean... hard on them folks. Like, but but I know but shit. but I know like the nigga they call <laughs> the nigga the boogeyman like and shit. That. But but like these niggas in in Memphis they don't care about that type of shit. So when they, you diss they shit they gonna go back and say fuck mob well, tie. Nobody and... really care yeah. about that shit. They ran they time they ran the nigga the nigga the nigga the nigga. Got the only niggas that got mob ties got behind the damn world. Shit. The FWC, the Fifth War Circle gang in Fifth War. That's what they all derived. And then he said, that's what Finesse said. He said that the reason why he responded to you, Wack, is because he was like, if you don't respond, he was like, I, I tried to be the bigger person, but I understand with the social media and the blog. He was talking about all the bloggers. He was like, if you don't respond, that mean you agree. So I, he said, now I'm responding to everything. So that everybody got the one respond to the same thing. He they to look, 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 he embraced. Look, look. We was on this. You lane. missed it when I'm telling you, Mimi. No, I'm not. I understand exactly what Jay you're Prince saying. Jay Prince, I just fucked over the ball. Y'all watched me silence that nigga. He tried to dance with me for down there nine months. I fucked him up. When I did that CJ Mack and Dub C interview, I said, Jay Prince is secretly and silently trying to set Larry Hoover up to stay in the penitentiary. He <laughs> said, what? What the fuck? And then I went into my performance. I went Denzel. Who got that clip? You, you ain't never heard that clip, Mimi? I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, see I, Jay. I said, yeah. why in the fuck if this man is in prison allegedly for calling hits, you gonna say in the name of Larry Hoover you gonna have this done? Oh, that's a if this man shit. in prison trying to get a pill, been in there 49 years, why are you saying in the name of Larry Hoover, you gonna do this violent and this violent? Bitch, put that in the name of motherfucking mob ties, a fucking rapper lot. Why you keep putting it in the name of Larry Hoover? This nigga <laughs> is trying to keep Larry Hoover in jail. When I hit that nigga with that, <laughs> nigga, that nigga say, yeah, I'm leaving this nigga you alone. Can tell, you really can tell. Um, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. Like, yeah. You, you know how, like, when you oh, beef with a nigga, you know how, like, when you beef with a nigga, you be, like, you, you, when you beef with a nigga, like, you go deep down until you go get the family history, everything. I don't, he really, you can tell he ain't never looked you up because he said, yeah, that nigga be going to pick his kids up from daycare. I'm like, that nigga got grown kids. What kid, daycare? kids is nigga grown? No about? clue. Like, bro, he said, see, hey, he, 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 he said, he said, what? He said, he trying go, to find a way to mind, make on, himself big hot, wait, wait, bro. Wait, 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 let me tell you what he, that man said. You go get your kids from daycare. You drop them off. Then you go pick your wife up. Then you go drop the kids off at daycare. Then you go to the blog. He was like, he got little kids. I'm like, that man kid is grown, bro. Like, what is he talking about? Nigga, I got 13 cars. Nigga, what is this nigga talking about? <laughs> that nigga was all over the place. He sure was. He ain't, he, first, he started talking about, uh, then he started talking about how his baby mama how the baby, his baby boy ain't really his. It's probably an old nigga. He don't know if it's his son. For he was just all over the place on the live. Like, he was just he said my baby boy. boy. He don't know how to make what this shit go up. <laughs> nigga, my son is hold 29 on. years hold old. Hold on, I got the. Hold on, let me pull this. Wait. Oh, we need to get. I got to do a reaction to that. See what he didn't know. He he didn't hold understand on. the blog was really was pushing him to be known like he known when he went into all when he said fuck the bloggers and shit like that. He fucked up. He fucked up off the muscle. Everybody everybody switched on his ass like fuck. Him. Yo, me 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 me. That's how much attention I paid today. I didn't even know he did that. <laughs> yeah. I've been fucking with him. Listen, me me. I've been fucking with him in the DM, wearing his ass out, got him stressed out. This I'm wearing this nigga out. Got him so this nigga, that nigga say, yeah, I was in your hood in Long Beach. I said Long Beach, all Crip City. Dog. Come on, dude. Can you hear what? Like, yeah. Ain't nowhere to be found. Like, man, literally, probably wake up in the morning, drop his kids off at daycare, and go do content. Go pick his kids back up from daycare. Pick his wife up or probably his this disabled ass grandma. Take her back home. Take them police ass kids to the house. Yeah, oh thing. man, come on, dude. But, this dude talking like he know a whole program and shit. Like he knows a whole program, motherfucker. 
But see, <laughs> Final <laughs> Battle, he gonna have to come to the west and he gonna be he gonna be spooked the fuck that out. That nigga spooked. Hey, hey, have you been? A, real question: Have you ever been to California yet? Like, hey, wow. yeah, I ain't even yeah, he'd have been lie. out here one time, but you know, know Big A don't fuck with You don't even me. know how to respond to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's so crazy he ain't been to California. <laughs> now nah, that nigga been to California. I ain't gonna lie. But <laughs> like, about he had a lot of niggas who were fucking with him when he first jumped out. But them niggas ain't fucking with him. He, he like, crossed them niggas. But listen, why he a. say? Why he say he was like? Uh, did you see T boy? He say uh, he can't even come to Chicago. Yeah. I can go to the land. So I said, right. where can't even the vice lord? Well, so what that be? The reason why <laughs> no, he said but that see, is Memphis, all man. he did with that was. I'm gonna tell you that's a bad move because now I'm gonna run a narrative. What you say, Chicago embrace rats? Ooh, I am gonna run a narrative now. Now I don't know what he talking about because them soon them little niggas hear that they gonna go to call me. Y'all, what's up with this nigga? What you want to do with him? My bearded dragon said, send some cash out so he can eat good like he eat every day. Yeah, send some cash out. What's your cash here? Dollar sign I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around. Look. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's Turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He's trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow. <laughs>